Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to work on number 108 on the FTC General Knowledge Practice Test. This is a great problem to review some core concepts in fractions, decimal, and percents, and proportions. So let's start. Let's, let's read over the problem first. 31 students at West High School failed the FCAT test. If that figure represents 5% of the students approximately, what is the population of the school? Hmm. I want you to read that to yourself. This is a classic problem. You're going to see lots of questions like this on your teacher certification exam. It doesn't just have to be Florida. We're talking about Massachusetts, California, New York, Texas. Teacher certification exams will often ask a similar type of question. Now, whenever you see percents, whenever percents are in your problem, percents, fractions, decimals, whenever you see these things, I want you to automatically make the connection that you're probably dealing with some question that could be rep represented in terms of part to whole. That's really important that you see percents, you think part to whole. You see fractions, you think part to whole. And what do I mean by this? Well, in this problem, your whole would be the total population. This would be everyone that's at the school, so 100% of the student body. And your part, well this is going to be that part that didn't pass, let's say. So if we're thinking about the partial relationship, um, out of 100% of the students, 5% didn't pass. So this is sort of unhappy students here, they didn't pass, and this is everybody. Everyone here. A whole school, oops, 5% unhappy people, and this is the school itself. All right, well, now that we're thinking in terms of part to whole, we can really go to the next step, and we can actually create something called a proportion, which is 5.5 over 100 is equal to, well, 31 students here. Let's use a different color. 31 students represents the 5.5. So 31 at and over x. Now, I just want to quickly review proportions. Because you see these a lot on your exams. And, and here's just a quick proportion. Let's say I was baking something. And it requires one cup of flour. For, for every one cup of flour, I'm going to use two, um, two tablespoons of sugar. Now if I wanted to keep this proportion up and I ended up using four cups of flour, how many cups of, uh, how many tablespoons of sugar? I know, it would be nice if it was cups, but we can't do that. Well, to, to figure out a proportion, you could do a whole bunch of different ways. You can do cross multiplication, you can do a bridge strategy. For example, we could go, how do you get from one to four? We could multiply one by four and get to four. So we do the same bridge strategy here. How do we get from 2 to x? Well, multiply by 4, and you come up with x is equal to 8. This is one way to use a proportion to solve for x. We could do the same thing with our, with our, um, with our values here. How do we get from 5.5 to 31? Well, let's say you just say, well, it's, a, it's almost 6. Right? Because if you multiply 5.5 times 6, what is that? Well, I'm going to actually do it out because I'm not an expert here and I, I could make a mistake. I do it out. I get three, uh, 0 here, carry the 3, 30, I get 333. I got to remember that there's a one space for the decimal. Oops. One space for the decimal here, which means I got to move it over here. So I get it's approximately 33. So it's a little bit less than six times, but it's approximately six times. So I could try it here. What's 100 times my bridge? Six. And that would get me approximately 600. But it's going to be somewhere less than 600. Because remember, this is going to be, I found out that this, is, this 33 is a little bit too high. So it's going to be something a little bit less than six to get me to the 31. Well, guess what? I just found that approximately 600 students, or a little less than 600 students, um, you know, are, are at this school. So that would narrow down my choices to these two. 
And actually, it's closer to this one here, and that's the answer. Okay, well, let's say we didn't have the luxury of, uh, we weren't so comfortable with just being at approximate. We wanted to do it all the way out. We could do it all the way out. This is going to take a little bit more time. I'll set up my proportion again. 5.5 .5 over 100 is equal to 31 over x. Now I cross multiply because I want to find the exact amount, what x is, as, a pro as close as possible. I could get here 3100, 3100, and here 5.5x. Then what do I do? Well, I could divide by 5.5, divide by 5.5, and then I got this kind of this awkward division problem of 3100 divided by 5.5. If I was doing a problem like this on the test, I would, you could approximate, but I would actually just turn this into 55 and turn this into 31,000. That way I'm dividing by whole numbers. 55 divided by 31 uh, goes in, how many times does 51 go into 30,000? Yes, team, I am going there with a the long division. I want you to go there with me. So I want you to pull out your pad of paper right now and a pencil and work this out. I'm going to work it out too, but don't just watch me. Do it with me. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this in 20 seconds. 55 goes into three. No, 31. No, 300. Yes. How many times? Five times. Five times five is 25. Carry the two. Five goes into 25 plus the two is 27. Okay, I gotta do subtraction, but I gotta do some regrouping. Then I gotta carry this here. This becomes a five. This is a zero here. Cross out the three. Make it a two. Make this a ten. Ten times ten minus seven is three. These cancel out. Drop down a zero. It goes in six times. Six times uh, 55 again is zero. Carry the three. You're following with me. 33. I know. Guess what? I'm not that good. I've just had to do this video a bunch of times. <laughs> okay. 50, um, when I drop down the last zero, make it, and it's 200, 55 doesn't actually go in four times. It goes in three times with some large remainder. And that remainder would actually... If we were to approximate it, it would round up to 564. So now we did it the long way, and we definitely came up with the answer. Okay, team, I hope you found this video helpful. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. There's a bunch of different ways to solve this, but I, I think that, you know, when we, uh, the two ways that we approached it to get to, you know, roughly 600, and then we did the long division way and we got to the 564 approximately. You know, I think those are probably the way that they wanted you to do it in this problem. So you could try those, all right? All right, team, have an amazing day. And uh, if you need some extra help, you can go to the GoMath website and find out more about uh, the workshops that are in your state and the one-to-one -one tutoring. All right, take care, team. Bye-bye. Hi, team. I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the GoMath workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.